too hard, grind for my team Been there since that, I run teams No cap, I own my name, you know Hey y'all, it's your girl Emily Shay here back with another video And today, I am coming to you guys with a story time Yes, y'all read that title And I know y'all a little confused So I'm here to clear that up or whatever but before we get into that video, y'all already know what we got to do. Y'all got to apply this lip gloss to y'all lips. And fellas, y'all already know y'all got to brush that hair and get right for us lovely ladies. So without further ado, let's jump right on into this video. So y'all, I know y'all seen by the title that I said I had two, not one, but two roommates while I was in school. Yes, y'all, it's true. I had two roommates while I'm in school. Now, how we met is kind of weird, but it's not weird if that makes sense. So, we met through our RA on the hall. And it was a storm. It was like some crazy weather during this time, y'all. We met the end of freshman year. So, this to be the end of 2017. We met. Now, these two lovely ladies... Mwah and Wong. <laughs> um, they was roommates before I even got to know them. So they was already living together. Mind you, I said we stayed on the same hall. So we should have been new of each other, being that we lived together like on the same hall, but we didn't. And I was kind of to myself, I like staying in my room, y'all. I never really came out. And when I did came out, it was to go in my RA room. So I really didn't know a lot of people on the hall so boom it was storming really bad outside y'all like it was crazy weather crazy weather the lights was flickering on and off it was raining heavy outside it was a lot going on so my RA came up with the bright idea to have like a game day in her room so we moved the little desks and everything because um yeah, we moved the desk and everything in the room, and we made it like a table, real ghetto. We made, we put them side by side, well, back to back like this, where two people can sit on this side, and two people can sit on the other side, and two people can sit on the end. And they like a little rectangle shape, so you know, they long enough for about six people to fit. So we just playing Uno, we um talking, you know, chopping it up with people i never seen on this hall. Because mind you, I didn't talk to anybody that stayed here. I knew them by faces, but I didn't know them by names. So we playing Uno, <laughs> we playing Uno or whatever. And I'm like, they they vibing with each other because, you know, they are roommates. So, you know, they're, they're chilling, they vibing. I'm like, wow, like I love the chemistry here, da 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 da. So I'm like, okay. They're going to be my friends. That's just that. I'm going to put myself in the mix. They're going to know who I am. I'm going to know who they is. And that's just that. So, we started playing or whatever. Playing the game. You know, they sat down. Well, they wasn't really playing with us at first. Because at first, they were just coming back and forth. You know, like, I don't know. Going outside or whatever. But anyways, they stood in the door. And they was like, um, we're going to beat y'all. You know how competition is or whatever. So, I'm like, y'all can't beat us. I ain't even worried about none of that. Like, y'all ain't gonna beat us in Uno. And that's just that on that. So, boom. we I said about, like, two, three times before they actually played. So, they sat down. They played hand. And mind you, I said it could have been, like, six people sitting in this little table we created. And that's not even including the people that's in the room. Like, physically in the room. So, it's a good about eight to ten of us in this room. But only, like, six of us playing. Including the RA. So, I remember sitting, it was like me, Monty, R.A., Raven, and like another person. I don't remember the other person. But anyway, we were sitting like that. So, we started playing Uno. You know, I think my R.A. won the first hand. And then, Monty or Raven won the second hand. Either way it goes, I didn't want like neither one of the rounds. Sad to say. But, <laughs> they won or whatever. So, I'm like, oh! came to play like it ain't it ain't nothing you're like y'all really showed up and showed out and that's just that so we end up playing again mind you i said the weather was crazy so we really we could have go to the cafe but we was gonna get drenched so we end up eating like um you know typical stuff like noodles and chips and all this and the third mind you i had packed noodles and they had cup noodles 
I never ate cup noodles until I started talking to them. Crazy, right? So we end up trading off. I end up giving them my pack noodles and they end up giving me their cup noodles. And then they was like, um, we got some hot sauce in the room to put on the noodles. I never had hot sauce on the, I never had hot sauce in the noodles either, y'all. It's weird. So I was like, can I have some hot sauce? So boom, I end up going down the hall to their room to get some hot sauce. So mind you, this is the first time we ever talk outside of my RE room. So I'm like, can I have some hot sauce? So they gave me some hot sauce, boom, boom, boom. They came back to my RE room. They was like, um, cause I pour my, I pour my water, my water off my noodles. So they was like, that's taking all the flavors off and did it. I'm like, okay, water in the noodles. Yeah, that threw me for a loop. <laughs> so boom, ever since then we started talking. I didn't know them like that. So at first I was calling, I was getting they, getting them confused. I knew who they was, but I was getting them confused. Y'all know like how if you see a twin or whatever, and they call one twin the other twin, and then they call the other twin that twin. So every time I would see them, let's say I see Monty, I would call her Raven. Or if I see Raven, I would call her Monty. Like I would get them mixed up. So that day, like when we departed and went back to our room, I'm like, I... Since y'all already roommates, I might as well just be y'all roommate this, this, this. You feel me? Like, add some extra. <laughs> so, yeah. After that, it took them, it took about a week or two for us to actually start, like, talking, hanging, chilling, all that good stuff. So, when we actually started getting close or whatever, I'm like, hey, roommate. Hey, roommate, this, this, this. That was our signature thing. Like, if y'all know us around this campus, we say roommate, roommate, roommate. We do not call each other by names. I promise you, we don't. Like, every time we see each other, it don't matter if we in a cab, we're going to be like, roommate. Hey, roommate. Hey, roommate. <laughs> That's our thing for us. Like, we, we do that everywhere we go, literally. So it got it got caught on. So now everybody see us. They be like, "Hey, Renee!" Hey. Like, no, no, don't do that. That's our thing for us or whatever. So we just getting closer and closer. Our friendship just growing. Boom, boom, boom. So now we coming up on sophomore year, right? Now, um, mind you, I said it was never our. They was never my roommate, like physically in the room with me, freshman year, because they was already roommates. So coming up on sophomore year. Raven ended up being my roommate, like my physical roommate. So now it's me and Raven in the room, and Monty got placed in a different dorm. So unfortunately, she wasn't physically in the room with me, like labeled in the room. But that didn't stop anything, y'all, because we was still the three months of ten. She was coming over here. We, y'all, we was in that room together, like we was assigned to be roommates like period i had no bad experiences with neither one of them being my roommate we we're the kind of people we help each other out so like if we was hungry and we was tired of what we had in that room we was going to find us something to eat and I, it don't matter if we only had what five six dollars to our names we was gonna put it in and we was gonna eat real good real lavish like we had money honey like Period. We wasn't going to starve. We wasn't going to do this and do that. It wasn't no nitpicking. It was nothing. We was genuinely helping each other. Like, it don't matter. And I had my days. I ain't even going to hold y'all. I had my days. But with them, it's like, okay, girl. Like, we got you. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Like, they was not. They don't bring you down none of that. Um, My roommate, she was genuinely clean. She didn't leave no... Like, she, she like a mother. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. She didn't leave no trash down there. She made sure her clothes was washed. Like, I ain't had no problems out of her. And it's just, it's, it, was, it was just cool. Like, we used to be on Snapchat, outside, basketball games, all that. So, uh, so as we get in um, further and further into our friendship, it's like, wow, like, these girls really, really cool or whatever. So it went from them two being roommates to me adding myself in the equation and now we're roommate, roommate, this, this, this. Like we come three, like as a pet. Like as a pet. Y'all, um, we got so cool or whatever. We, one year I remember <laughs> we came up with different games and stuff. To, we came up with our own little, little games and I answered some clips for y'all to see how we we came up with games and stuff to play in the room i think one we was um 
trying to see who can drink the syrup out of the fruit container the fastest I think one was with the apple so I'm gonna just insert some clips so y'all can see like we had fun we didn't party much or whatever but we made sure we had fun enough fun for us like we didn't we didn't like being in the crowds we didn't like all that like extra stuff like that was enough but when we did stuff oh we still homecoming year I think was the first time we actually attempt to go to a party and we was late not just that but we really didn't need to go out places like parties and stuff because we always was off campus somewhere i promise you we would walk up to like five points and five points is like the area where it's a college down a college not too far from our college so they will always be out there at the bar you know drinking and stuff we will walk down there only to like get dressed up and get off campus we wasn't in that scenery like that like that so we would get dressed up, you know, cute, see who's down there, you know, holla, hey, or whatever. Um, so we'll do that, or we'll just take a trip to the mall, we'll go to Walmart. Like, we'll do some something simple, but to us, that'll be something fun, you feel me? We always was doing something together. It, it, it was just like we had three months of tension around campus, like, that just period. And we don't really hang with people around campus, because people around campus is fake most people around campus is fake and i'm just gonna say that like if you don't mix and vibe with us we're not gonna acknowledge you and i'm the one i'm the friendly one i greet everybody y'all i promise y'all i greet everybody so i be like hey how you doing blah 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 and mind you they'll be like okay we see you like <laughs> literally that's how they are i'm the friendly one i greet everybody or whatever 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 they just be like okay now now, now they their speak if they know you but you're not going to get a genuinely a gen like a genuinely hey or, or a knowledge from them like that's not them now raven is from california and Monty is from jersey and y'all it's a blessing having it's a blessing getting to know people from from far away or from somewhere that you're not because you actually get to hear stories about their um city or whatever like who would ever in a million years like i would never in a million years say i know some i would have never said i know somebody from california like physically known them from california or physically known somebody from new jersey like <clears throat> that's that's big or whatever you feel me and i would have never met them if i would have never introduced like genuinely be myself and introduce myself to them and now we're roommates like that's just period um so yeah like I be listening to people tell me crazy stories about their roommates and how their roommates did this. You know, crazy horror stories, y'all. But I'm here to tell y'all, my roommates literally been the best. I don't have no complaints. We argue, we fight like any other person or any other human being. But we are pushed at the side, like, in a matter of time. I can tell y'all right now, it was um, times in that room where me and my roommate, like, we, we won't even say nothing to each other. We'll just be in there, literally, sitting in there. I'll be... I be on my phone she'll come in there and don't say nothing to me and i'll be like dang then i made her mad like literally sitting in there not saying nothing to each other and this i actually asked her well i actually brought it up and i was like um it'll be times we'll be in that room and we don't say nothing to each other like do you be mad like what's the issue like or whatever and she was just like you know i just didn't want to talk today and i get that like, like I get that. Like, you see that same person every day, 24 hours of the day, might as well stay. So, you know, you need your time. And that's just respectful. Like, we we don't get along. But I promise you, when we step out in person, like, in person and people see us, it's like, you my yin to my yay. You feel me? Um. So, yeah, you know, roommates, I can honestly say we have our differences, but I can honestly say it's not, like, no crazy horror story that I've been seeing people talk about or i be hearing people that i know that go to a different college talk about so 
this is my story time of how I have two different roommates <laughs> and they both is fun chill and relax you know but I had wanted to share this story with you guys if you guys enjoy this story time this little story time about my roommates y'all smash that like button leave me some comments down below and y'all already know what I'm gonna say subscribe to me subscribe to my channel it's late over here and that's just period so like I say all my videos is up from here and I'll see you guys in my next video. If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my powder bay? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of pain. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. I wanna start it.